Watch while I show you how to waste a bunch of hot glue to make some hair clips. I'm using some Nikpro Chameleon Powder in Plum and Gold and Purple and Blue or something. I don't remember the exact colors but they are pretty and sparkly so I sprinkled and dusted that powder into these flower and skull molds like a fairy with fairy dust. Why am I making hair clips when my daughter and I don't use hair clips? All because I got this bright idea that hot glue might work in these molds and also it's fun to make stuff and also my garden truck is broken down and I'm just doing stuff. Let me know if anyone wants to buy hair clips because I'm about to waste a bunch of hot glue. Once I refilled my Gorilla Glue Gun with a fresh Gorilla Glue stick I'm ready to start filling these molds. I only filled the skull mold about three quarters of the way full and then I hurried up and squished it around to make sure the hot glue got into all the right spots. Then I propped it on its side to finish drying. I had these leftover diamond dots from another crafty project I should have known I was never going to do. I added a little gem to the center of a couple flowers before filling them with glue. What a great way to finally use something I hoarded. I added some solar color dust glow in the dark powder to the backs once they dried a little so these little babies will light up at night. With this stuff it only takes a little powder and the glow is really bright. Who doesn't love a good glow in the dark hair clip? Made out of glue? Once the glue is fully dry they come out of the mold easily and I don't get burned this time. I added a little more glue before adding the metal clips and then while holding the clip open I squished it into the hot glue really good to make sure it was secure. I used the little silicone cup to keep the clip open while it dries so it doesn't glue itself shut. These silicone cups and molds were meant for resin, but I love it when crafts and especially materials can overlap. One of these flowers I did previously didn't turn out good so I redid it and it came out better. I wouldn't want to waste glue when I'm already wasting glue. I'm using a gem every time I make a new flower from now on. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of these little gems, so what else can I use them for? All the skulls need little gem eyes, don't they? Yes. They do. And of course I have more skulls. I had previously busted open some crystal geodes with the kids. After the joy of smashing rocks had passed, we had these little pieces of crystal geode rocks left over. In a previous bright idea and glue wasting moment, I glue gun some skulls to them. There they go on that little dish taking up space on my table. Now I want to hurry up and finish up these last couple of hair clips because my mind has already gone on to the next thing. I figured out at some point that I was mistakenly adding glue to the eye holes to add each little gem. Wasting more glue is shameful. Then I realized that the tip of the glue gun is really hot and it's melting the skull where it touches. So I don't have to push the trigger to add a dot of glue. I can just touch the spot with the hot tip of the glue gun to melt the glue around the skull eye a little bit and then hurry up and add the gem before it dries again. Super proud of myself for finding a way to save a teeny tiny dot of glue because I know I've wasted way too much glue on these frivolous projects but I can't stop now. What else am I going to use these little gems for? I am mentally going through everything in my house with a tiny face that might need some little gem eyes. 
In preparation for the crystal skulls, I am going to pull out pairs of matching eyes in almost every color because yes. These geodes have got major sparkle on one side and the other side was smooth so I added little glue gun skulls to them. Please check out my other videos, that one is in there somewhere along with lots of other glue wasting moments. I'm not sure if I finished all the hair clips because I'm already on to the next thing which is adding little gem eyes to these rock skulls. I don't know what I'm going to do with these now, I don't think terrarium is appropriate because the glue will probably come unstuck in a moist environment. Maybe a dry terrarium, or is it called an arium? I'll think of something. In the meantime, they'll sit on this table looking cute. If you made it this far and you've got an idea for what I should do with them now, put a comment and I'll send you one free.